Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Too Tall Tom here in this not really early morning, but uh, it's around 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, getting close to the Legion pre-patch launch. So I decided uh, to... F I, I actually had another video recorded. I might still upload it. I don't know. But I decided that, you know what? I learned my lesson last time when I decided to go in blind to Missa Pandaria, and then I was struck in the face with the removal of the talent system and the addition of what can only be called uh, a fucking joke of a talent system now. Where 90% of the time you go to Icy Veins, you're like, oh yeah, but you know now you get three options that are all equally important. Oh no. Then you look at Icy Veins, and it's literally the same as the talent system, where it's like, pick this one, pick this one, and this tree, pick this. It's like, why did you even change it? You didn't, you didn't change anything. Anyway, I digress. I decided I'm going to look up the pre-patch note because I I might as well know what's coming in this expansion before it may very well make the game unplayable for me so without further ado as it starts off on a really good note um, I was reading a little bit of this but then I got to a point which we'll get to soon that I was like okay I just need to make a video on this so the new transmogrification system appearances the new collection it's pretty standard it's gonna be in the collections tab it's gonna allow it's kind of like uh, Mogget if you had the Mogget um, add-on so that one's cool uh, here it talks about the PvP system now the PvP system I can't really say much on because it's going for more of like a Call of Duty system and then they're like removing that I think the first major warning sign for me was somewhere around here um, yes yeah, items purchase are not available okay uh, equalized PvP gear was the first thing for me. I was like, what? And it's like, oh, you know, it takes away all bonuses from your PvP gear, like all stats gained, and then just normalizes them. So I'm like, why even have armor? You might as well have it so, like, you walk into the battleground naked, and depending on your Call of Duty rank, uh, you have a certain amount of health and, uh, and do a certain amount of damage. So I was like, oh, that's kind of, ugh. So then I, I, I'm going down a little bit more, and you know I get to this where it's uh, uh, the standard um, debuff basically on the bosses of Hellfire Citadel, which uh, it's not a surprise, they've done that since Wrath of the Lich King. And then the Legacy, we knew it was coming, normalized gold from Legacy Raids prior to Warlords of Draenor, so they're going to bring down the amount you get from Cat Raids, because right now you get like a thousand gold, or you did. Uh, Ruins of Encourage resets daily instead of uh, every three days. Uh, I feel like that would they just kind of keep forgetting about that because that could have just been at any time. Um, the Legendary Ring class players can no longer start the quest now that the pre patch is out, but uh, players that are currently on it can rush through it, which um, I'm almost like maybe I should just fucking ditch the ring and get something better. Um, I'll, I'll. Oh! All, all creatures and NPCs can now be ta uh, tapped by up to three players, or tagged, I think is the correct one. Uh, Brawler's Guild is gone now. I didn't get to finish it. That sucks. Um, and looks like the Stranglethorn fishing is... And I didn't really care about that one. The, this is really where I was like, oh, what? So, in an effort to amend the gear swapping, the following changes have been made. Legion cloaks, rings, and items worn on the neck will no longer have a specific primary stat and will remain relevant between classes. So I'm assuming you will no longer have anything but maybe stamina and then two secondary stats on your necklace. There's no more, this is a healing necklace, this is a hunter necklace, which is like, like why? Are we going to get it to where like you do raids and you don't even give a shit about the bosses because like, oh, what does this boss drop? Um, it drops one cloth piece, one leather piece, one plate piece, and one mail piece, and a ring that anyone can use. And that's it, because they're not going to drop weapons. I mean, Legion's going to take care of weapons, so maybe they'll drop a cloak. So no one's going to give a shit about all the weapon drops or anything anymore. Uh, the next one was what really peeved me off, because I've been playing a DK tank, which the two set stats are mu Mastery Multi-Strike. Multi-Strike has been removed. Items that had Multi-Strike are now replaced with another secondary stat. What if they could... Why is multi-strike being removed and not versatility? That should say versatility has been removed, as it is completely worthless. Uh, multi-strike at least is on 
normal pieces of gear usually like it was kind of a good stat uh, trinkets obtained from raid PvP and world drops in warlords were overtuned and have brought, brought back to intended power levels um, I, I I don't really have a comment on that um, I haven't really gotten any of the really good uh, like the trinkets from bosses although I liked when it was like the end like think of Siege of Orgrimmar there's some pretty crazy trinkets in there too and that was just cool at the end um, here is where I was like, what are they doing? Set bonuses from items uh, from expansions prior to Warlords of Draenor have been deactivated through the text describing, or have been deactivated, but they're the text describing what they used to do is still there. Why are you doing that? Like, I remember some of the most fun to do in the, um, the Timeless Dungeons is like, oh, it's BC. Okay, so I can wear, like, you know, some tier set from, like, Wrath of Lich King or something that has a really cool bonus, and then you can wear, like, four pieces of tier six, because it has, like, bracers, belt, and boots, which typically tier doesn't have, and you can have two four sets. Now you can't have any four sets. Oh, do you, do you like twinking? Well, fuck you. Get to lax level. Play with everyone else. Like, this shows that they seem to have contempt for the previous expansions. Like, like yeah, you could have argued, oh, they don't need a classic server because you can just twink. Well, you can't now because uh, there's no point in getting gear other than maybe gem sockets, which I wouldn't be surprised with. Like, oh, yeah, gems. there's no more gem sockets on fucking gear before Draenor. Like, there goes any reason to have a twink whatsoever. So I guess when you know I get on my normal account, I'll have to level up my 70 pally and my 80, 80 mage, which... I literally was keeping my mage at 80 because I was like, man, this is the character I got Herald of the Titans on. Um, it was it was a fun time, met some cool people, and it was you know it was a it was a hard achievement. I I liked doing it. Now it's like, well, you know, I, you could you could still do it. It's gonna be even harder now that you can't get your tier bonus sets, but whatever. Like why? I I do they do they just hate twinks? Is that what? Um, let me see. I thought I saw one, yeah, uh, right under the cloak, spear and bonus armor have been removed, which I'm like, eh, uh, I kind of want to see this trinket I have that has a proc for, like, spirit when you heal, so it'll be interesting to see that. Uh, it does suck, though, that now there's no way, if you're the type of person that likes to heal a lot and then stack spirit for mana regen, that playstyle is gone now. Uh, spell power on all caster weapons has been consolidated into intellect to make it easier to compare... Eh, that's not really anything I care too much about. Uh, equipment limits on the amount of crafted gear that can be worn has now been removed, so you can have the full... You know what, you know what then? It's like, well, why even raid? You might as well just buy a full set of True Steel, and then it'll all be 705, and then you can, you can get right into Heroics. Heroic uh, Hellfire. Potion of Luck and Greater Potion of Luck no longer have an effect. I think that was item drops, so I don't really know too much about that. Uh, the Gladiator's Distinction set bonus has been removed from all PvP trinkets. I think that was like the 2500 Resilience. I didn't, I didn't PvP a lot, so I can't really say much. Um, characters can now change... Uh, or specialization changes. Uh, can I change other specializations... Okay, so I think they're, uh, yeah, dual talents has been removed, so you just change your spec at any time. Um, it almost seems like they're taking it in, like, an Overwatch way, where, like, I could see it being like, oh, well, to balance the comps that people used to have, we're just gonna make it so you can be anything. Um, gnomes can now be hunters. Okay. I fucking hate gnomes. I'm, I'm glad that you haven't unlocked anything else, like, I don't know, why, why can't a gnome be a paladin? They, they can be a priest, they already believe in the light, you, why can't, you know, more, uh, why, why, aren't, why aren't there more than just this? Like, I don't care if gnomes can be hunters, I'm not gonna play a gnome. <laughs> like, uh, there's so many other better alliance classes to play, but I guess, whatever, it'll be funny. Well, look how funny it is, this little character has a pet, whatever. Um... Uh, improved animations, visual effects, that's always good. 
Talent system changes. You can now change your talents at any rested experience. Inscription profession can craft consumable items that allow for this to be done in the field. So the same thing is like dust. In addition, after queuing into an instance dungeon raid, players have a grace period between which they can change their talents freely. Okay. Uh, glyph system changes. The glyphs have now been... Glyph panel has now been removed from the game? Wow. Why don't we just fucking take the talent system out? Because why don't we just make it so there's one button for each class? I remember complaining to my buddies about that. Why don't we make it so when the DPS class, all there is is there's one button on your action bar and it says DPS. And uh, as long as, if, if you can press it every time it resets, you're doing the best DPS you can possibly do. And then when you go to a tank, they get something that's like a taunt. And it just, it just taunts the appropriate enemy. So they don't actually have to hit anything, and they sit there spamming that, and the game will automatically be like, okay, that ca that enemy's not attacking anyone, let's taunt that. Or like, oh, that boss is attacking the, the other tank, he's got a certain amount of stacks, let's taunt that. Oh my god. Like, after all this, we will absolutely need some kind of previous legacy uh, fucking server. The game won't even be recognizable. Draenor perks have been removed. Uh, they kind of seemed odd to begin with, like... The weird specific perks to Draenor. Um, the uh, armor changes. Hunters can now use mail up to. I I think this is good because, um, what it used to be is when you got to forty, it used to be a big, a big stepping stone, almost like a big achievement where you start getting these cooler pieces of gear. Like, I remember the first time my first character was a paladin. So I remember fondly going from a, a male armor, and you're like, oh yeah, this is good, to plate, and you're like, holy shit, plate armor? Like, oh my god, it's got so much more defense than male. Now it's like, eh, whatever. Uh, let me see. Oh, I'm running from self roofs. Roofs, all stuns, sun effects, and snares, a 30 second cooldown with other... I guess, I thought I already did. Oh wow, he, the human redesign. They gain 1% uh, from more of all secondary stats. So like, wow, that's that's probably one of the best racials you can get. Class changes. Um, I'm not going to go into the individual classes, I don't think. Because uh, there's, there's a lot of changes going on with the individual classes. Like Paladin's no longer having holy power and stuff like that. So I can't really say anything about that until I've played each class. Um... Many sources of gold from the garrison have been reduced or removed. Newly obtained salvage from the salvage yard can no longer contains equipable items. Salvage obtained from before the patch remains unaffected. So I guess you lose the ability to get... The, I didn't think there was anything really that good from sal the salvage yard. Uh, inscription is going to be a useless fucking thing. When all you're going to be able to make is, oh, I can make stuff that allows people to change their talents. Oh. Um, a number of items with novel effects have been converted for inclusion in the no toy box. I'm pretty sure that would have to do with a lot of the toy, a lot of the items in Mr. Pandaria where it's like, oh, this is only for Mr. Pandaria. Um... Okay, so, uh, Foam Swords is toy now. Okay, so the Orb of Deception now lets you keep your armor, that's cool. Okay, so they increased the gold maximum, that's not going to really affect that many too. Uh, maximum number of characters increased to 12, that's cool, because now I'll be able to make two more characters or possibly transfer two of my characters to my original account, which I would really like. Um, and then a bunch of people commenting. I'm not really going to read the comments. So yeah, I, I think that they are... Oh, it's going to be a change. It's like, if people thought Missa Pandaria and Warlord were casual mode, they're going to look like fucking complex games compared to Legion now. Ooh. Um, when, when will Blizzard learn that the hardcore audience is the ones they want. Like, World of Warcraft 
has this throne technically because they built their company on people literally like fucking calling into work to stay at home to play the game for 12 hours and now it's like i can't see anyone doing that i i i mean christ i don't know if in legion there's gonna be enough for you to even do in a month you're like man i've you know i <laughs> i i don't know i feel like a lot of people are gonna come back realize that their classes have changed fundamentally and like a lot of things that they liked are gone and they're just more people are going to leave it's it's not going to be pretty um well i'll have to see for myself thank you guys for watching and i'm going to go see if i can log into wow